Yo, what's up guys, Drew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this jug edit. Um, it's more of an OG jug edit style. I know I've done how to jug tutorials before, but I've never done like an OG jug edit, which I actually like these. Before we get into it, make sure you guys join the Discord if you guys have any questions. There's resources, there's people trying to learn just like you, and I'm going to start hosting like edit competitions and stuff like that, so just a great way to grow and find community and make sure you like and subscribe if you actually liked the video if you didn't then let me know what i could change and what you want to see different and you know maybe try again when i upload next time but yeah um without further ado let's get into it all right so this one we're going to be doing real time no more examples so um we have nothing uh i'm gonna start showing you guys my comp settings but here are the settings, um, 1920 by, it should be 1080. Glad I checked. And then frame rate 24, um, so you could do 23.976. I'm gonna do 23.976 just to be extra, but yeah. Um, and then we have our audio. Tutorial if you guys don't know how to do this, but everything's beat marked, and now you just get your clips and make sure you add Twixer. So, um, you're just gonna want to select your scenes. All right, I have my clips, so now I'm just gonna time remap them. And if you guys don't know how to time remap, I made a tutorial. So, what you want to do for your time remap is you're gonna want to cut all your clips to you know where you have it. Or like how you want them and then after you cut all your clips um you're gonna want to click on your clip uh make sure you pre-compose it so control shift t and then you can name it like clip one or something and then this is for irl clips by the way it's different for like anime clips because you're gonna want to twixter and i have a twixter tutorial so once you twixter then you can do this you're gonna want to double click go into the comp and double click this button uh you should probably do it before you get into the comp but i forgot to mention it so double click this and then go here and then do Control alt t or just right click and then go to oh time enable time remapping put a keyframe at the end of your clip so one frame before the actual end of your clip and then you're gonna wanna cut it and then get rid of this last keyframe. And now you have your clip, so this one. Oh, this is actually the the fade in part, so we're just gonna opacity this. Zero. There we go. And then on this clip, we're gonna actually do the same thing. Okay, and make sure you extend your clip to your full beat length. So these are my beats and extend your clip that way. And then make sure you drag your keyframe one frame before the end. Now we can time remap. So you highlight these F9, and then you can add a graph. I would recommend getting the flow plugin because it makes making graphs so much easier and you could get it in my discord. Okay, there's the first graph. Um, you can really use whatever you want, so just kind of do this for the rest of your clips, and I'll just speed it up so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, but, uh, it really just depends on your clips. Alright, so once you're done, your, your twig should look something like this. Alright, and now we can move on to scales. 
Um, so for scales, um, all we're going to do is make some null layers. And once we have the null layers, we can parent them and scale them. Uh, to make a null layer, it's Control Shift Alt Y, or you can just go up to Layer, New, and then Null Object. So for your nulls, we're going to need two. So make sure you make two nulls. And then once you make the two nulls, one is going to be for scale and one is going to be for position. You can actually make another one too for rotation if you want. But um, I guess you can just start off with, you can start off with two, but I'm going to use three just to, you know, kind of just be safe or whatever. So you're going to want to grab your clip, parent it to the first null, and then parent your first null to the other nulls. And then just keep parenting until you get to the last null so this should be the order of your nulls and now if you scale your null you see it scales your clip and same with the position and rotation so uh just click on this null and click s click on this one click p click on this one click r so it's a lot more clean and you have a nice workspace and we can start by adding motion tile to the clip Here are the settings and now that you have motion tile you're gonna want to make this a zoom out so we're gonna have the scale go in to about 200 and then go to the end of the clip and make it a hundred and make sure you you um easy ease this and then make your graph and I'm just now realizing I want this to be a little tighter in the comp as in the pause as in the, the dimensions there we go so i'm going to change my width from 1920 to 140 1440 there we go it's too early to start doing that honestly i think this is pretty good um you can tighten the graph if you'd like but i think that looks pretty good and once you have this zoom out um you're going to want to go to like the middle of the clip and then mess with your other null and click s for the put the zoom back in so we're gonna zoom back in to about one 150 and then we're gonna do the same with the position but we're gonna zoom in to more of we're gonna zoom in more up to of his hands like right here so we're gonna go down so down and that's good and then just make these a graph like this there we go and your graph should look so and you're pretty much done with your nulls now you can do the same to the other clip um so since this zoomed in we're gonna have this start out, so add your nulls. And then this one's gonna start out because we um, zoomed in. So I'm gonna go from 70 to 150. And then make sure you position it so it's still showing your clip like this. And then make a graph. All right, I zoomed this in a little bit more and then added a little bit of a tighter graph. Something like this. And then um, we're going to add another null. So I guess we can just um, make another one for rotation. And you're going to want to make a null for like every single um, position or rotation that you do. And just kind of have it be one null for one job um so we're gonna change the rotation so i think we're gonna do like a rotate out so we can um scale out to about i think this is good just kind of eyeball it um, um you have to make another one for position as well because we did change the position now the rotation we're gonna use is like here so you're kind of going to want to have it slightly tilted like maybe like 15 or 13 um i'm gonna use 13 no i'm gonna use 15 
14. There we go. Um, and then you're going to want to do the same sort of graph. And we can make the scale out a, a bit bigger and make this a little less tight. There we go. And now since it's a zoom out and rotation, we're going to have um, like three nulls, four. So one for the scale out, one for the rotation, one for the scale back in, and scale out, rotation. Okay, I guess three. Uh, yeah. See, this is what happens when I do it in real time, guys. I literally just edit, like, just just from my brain just just like all right so one for scale one for rotation so zoom this in and you'll start to get the gist of it it's kind of just the same thing over and over again uh and since we started our clip right here we're gonna start our other clip right here so you're gonna do negative like negative 25 should be good And then you're going to want to go to zero and then a hundred and then your clip should start to bigger, like something like that. Now do this for all your clips and then um, I'll show you guys how to make it look smooth. But yeah, this is just kind of the rough scales. And uh, I'll show you guys how to make it look smooth and come together at the end. Okay, another thing you can do that I forgot to mention is add a screen pump. Okay, so for your screen pumps, um, you're going to want to just have your scale. You're going to want to make another adjustment for your scale layer. And then make a little screen pump in the middle. Um, so you're going to want to just put it to 200 make the first keyframe 100 and then the last one 100 and then just kind of drag this up a little bit so and then make this graph like this and then you can adjust it however you would like you don't have to add this but you could use this for longer clips Okay, and once you're done, it should look something like this. And then once you have this, now it's time to make this smooth. So all you're going to want to do is take all of your nulls in your clip, and then you're going to want to pre-comp them. So select all, and then pre-comp make sure you select from the bottom two so go clip two null one null two null three and then pre-comp uh you can name this uh clip two smooth there we go so now what you can add here is your motion blur so you can click on clip two then you can click this for motion blur as you can see, it gets a little bit smoother. And then you can do that for all your clips. Okay, and there you go. It but, um, we're not done yet. So we're going to add um, RSMB. So if you don't have RSMB, make sure you go to my Discord and then go to the plugins and find RSMB. Um, so we're going to add RSMB Pro. And then we're gonna make the main blur amount to 0.2. Now, to be honest, this is pretty um, intensive. So, your make sure you have your PC like you know doing good. You can even change this to quarter if you need to. But yeah, it, it takes a lot. Add a little 
more. So I'm going to try four. Okay, and also make sure your main background sensitivity is at 100. Um, and to do this really fast, you can just um, click on the one you have all your, you know, stuff on. And then Control c to copy it. And then just select all of these by um, Control click your layer. And then hold Shift. And then click on the top. And then just Control v to paste. Okay, so next thing is the wave warp. So for the wave warp, all you're gonna wanna do is you can even pre-comp all these clips if you want to. Um, so I guess we can do that. So you could select the bottom by control click, and then shift, and then click at the top, and do this. Um, I guess we can call this uh, edits. No, just we'll just put edit. And then we'll just put edit, no effects, there we go. Alright, so now that you have this, you're going to want to add a adjustment layer to the top of this. And then you're going to want to add wave warp. Just make these your settings, so put the wave height to 10, the uh, wave type to sign, pinning all edges, high quality, direction and width <laughs> make sure you extend this over your entire comp so all your clips and now add flicker and turn the amplitude down a bit and also turn down the wave frequency okay now that we have that we can add our flashes so go into your comp and i know this has no effects but oh well we're gonna add some so add an adjustment layer over each of your clips and then add Gaussian Blur and add Exposure. You're going to want to keyframe both at the start, turn your exposure up a bit, maybe 130, and then change your horizontal blur to about, to about 5, and then go to the end and turn them both to 0. And then just, all you have to do is easy ease this, so F9, and then it should look something like that. So now you're just going to want to Control C, Control V, click on your second clip, Control V, place it in the same spot. Okay, and then once you Control C, Control V, just make sure you line up the keyframes for your clip, and then just do that for every clip. Add CC, and then you can also fade in your beginning. Um, and then for the end, usually um, they used to just like uh, speed this up so I'm gonna speed this up real quick and then after speeding it up they usually just like add um, monochrome and then CC time or time hold on what's it called time wide time there we go and then do no forward steps and then do like four backward steps and then i'm going to just add a bit of cc so go to looks and then edit this is all optional this is like literally just the end stuff so i'm going to add optical diffusion and edge softness and i think i think that's all i'm going to add change the blur size a bit and then turn the density up for my diffusion and turn this down a little bit all right there you go and that's how you og chug um if you guys i'm gonna add a little border real quick but if you guys liked um if you guys liked this tutorial make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what i should do next and...